Hello everybody, this is the Hollywood Rabbi in the heart of Hollywood, right in front of the, the Jim Henson Company on La Brea Boulevard near Sunset. All right, well this week's Torah portion is called Bo, and it means arrived, and it's come to a showdown between Moses and the most powerful man in the world, the Pharaoh of Egypt, to ask him to let God's people go. Free them from slavery, according to some sources, it's been 420 years that they've been enslaved. Egypt in Hebrew is Mitzrayim. Mitzrayim means constrictions or limitations. In last week's Torah portion, after the seventh plague, finally they, th they thought there was some breakthrough. Pharaoh said, I have sinned. Chatati, I've, he said, I have sinned and God is righteous. They thought they were going to get somewhere, but he hardened his heart was all about his pride. He couldn't give in because he felt that he was half man, half God. He shouldn't have to listen to anybody. He was in control. It was all about power. Even Pharaoh's servants and advisors told him, it is time for you to let go. Let the Jewish people go. Let them go worship their God in the desert. This little grudge match that you have going is, is bad for the country. And Moses said to him, look, he said, I'm going to give you till tomorrow. You've been holding out on me here. Imagine talking to the king of Egypt that way. If you don't change your mind tomorrow and let the, let the people go free, God is going to bring a plague of locusts. Now, Egypt was an agrarian society. This is like dropping an atom bomb. The locusts will come and destroy all their food and all their grain. But he didn't care, even though Pharaoh made the decision. And a lot of times we make decisions and we say hindsight is 2020. And being a good leader is about making decisions to know when, what's, when it's time to change, when it's time to give in. Pharaoh looked at the advisors in a way that he felt that they were weak. He says, how can you give in? How can you change your mind? I'm going to be strong. I'm not going to change. And Egypt hadn't changed. It was the same thing. It's total rebellion against this corrupt power. What does this message from 3,500 years ago have to do with us today? Well, just like 3,500 years ago, when we were enslaved, when we were constricted, we couldn't do anymore, we raised our hands to God, and God got involved with our lives and freed us. And just like He freed us then, He will free us now. But we have to do our part. The United Nations have reported that there are at least 30 million slaves in this world today. There's more slaves in this world today than there ever was in the history of the world. Our job is not done. We know how it feels to be enslaved. We know how it feels to be persecuted. We can't stand by while this happens. We can't be distracted. We have to fight and advocate for all those other people whose individuality is being squelched, whose freedom is being squelched. That's not why we're here in this world. We're all different. We're all individuals. Yet we need to come together as a community and speak up for what's right. As Malcolm X said, if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. I want to wish you all a Shabbat Shalom and a great weekend. Many blessings to you and families and loved ones. This is the Hollywood Rabbi. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye, everybody.